Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Good morning, boys and girls. Please stand to honor our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Boys and girls, you may be seated. Okay, let's get to our birthday list for today. Hmm. Let's see. Happy birthday today to Caitlin Chan in our third grade, Esmeralda St. Florent in our fifth grade, and that is it. Now, for the rest of the week, I'll be announcing more birthdays, and then at our morning announcements on Friday, I will get all the birthdays for the summer. Friends, our lunch today is pizza. You got it. Pizza. We also have egg chef salad, grilled cheese, and bagel lunch. And now, boys and girls, we're going to get a special drum roll. We are live with the winner of May Madness, Coach Billy. Come on down. So, Coach Billy won May Madness. Now, Miss Andreu, for those of you who know Miss Andreu, she has been shooting the ball pretty well for many, many years. But this year, Billy was the champion. It was a wild last round. Make sure you see it. Now, I was speaking to Billy about how he became so good at basketball. So, hear it for yourself. So how long have you been playing basketball? Did you play in high school? I did not play basketball in high school. I actually played soccer in high school. And so, you really just started playing basketball recently. Yes. Look at that, boys and girls. Just because you're not a good, not good at something right now doesn't mean you're not going to be good much later if you keep working. And so I understand you play basketball now and you really do work on your shot. I do. It does take practice to eventually be good, but practice yeah. makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. And uh, how do we know? Wait till you see. It was so tight in the last round. Yes, it, was. it was, I think it was 19-18, right? I believe it was 18 to 17. Oh, 18, 17. The final round. The round before that was 19 to 18. So. Wow. So imagine in one minute you can shoot the basket and get 19 in. And then the next round get 18 in. That's a lot of baskets. And why? Not because he was born able to play basketball, because he practiced and worked at it. And he didn't even start practicing basketball until much later he played soccer look at that we are so excited that you are a champion and so boys and girls when you see billy in the hallway today make sure you give him a high mm -hmm. five or a big elbow for being our may uh, madness champion and make sure you take a look at that last minute in the championship round also a healthy hearty high five to miss andreu who is quite a competitor herself absolutely she has been a champion here many times before but now we have a nice rivalry going, I think. What do you think? I like it. Yeah, that so we did have an official ball to give to Billy, but uh, we can't find it right now, so we're going to give it to him later. But boys and girls, again, hats off to Billy, May Madness champion. Okay, so now it's time for our Wordle. Now, it's a short week, so it's going to be a short word. This is one syllable. Okay, there's your clue. There's an I. Hmm. And this word, you ready? Rhymes with uh, two of our mascots. We have two mascots. It rhymes with both. This word rhymes with both mascots. What are our mascots? Hmm. Those are the things that represent our school. It's a rhyming word. Okay. And this is an interesting one. You ready? This number is connected to every single mystery number we have had this year. Every single number that we have had comes back to this one. So now you're going to have to go back and think, huh? Geez, what were those mystery numbers? Well, we know that one was 897. That was last week. Another one was 78, for example. 
there was hmm, 117. But those are your clues. 78, 117, and 897. All right. Now, today is our sale for the Ukraine. Um, so we are selling the stickers during your lunch period. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to pick some up if you'd like them. But that is also part of our Get Smart project today. So this was done by Madeline Mary, and she did a report on Ukraine. We have a uh, diagram of the country. We also have a look at what the currency looks like. Yeah, currency is the paper money that we use. And some facts about the weather, for example. Um, in the winter, it's cold. In the fall, it's rainy and warm. And in spring, it gets very windy there. Summer is warm and sunny. Uh, sunny. And some uh, facts about the population, for example. 41 million people live there. So uh, the fundraiser is today. We hope you can get some stickers for your water bottle or wherever you might like to put them. We also have a project from uh, Gabby on Italy. So she did a book about Italy. And we have facts about Italy. And there's the Italian flag. By the way, both the Ukrainian and the Italian flag are hanging in our culture corridor. Um, but uh, in this book, we also have some words in Italian. Now, we've been spending a lot of time. Many of you have been getting smart this year learning words in other languages. And that's lovely to learn about other languages because the English language actually comes from other languages. If you learn about those languages, you might learn more about your own language. So, uh, well done, Gabby. All right. Now it's time for our quick uh, update. So, uh, Paul Berner had his principle of the day, but we didn't get to hear the Spice Girls, so plan on that today. Uh, in addition to that, we are um, looking forward to a, an emergency drill. If you are seeing this after the drill, uh, well, um, then hopefully it went well. If, if it's before the drill, just a reminder, if you hear that we are in a lockdown or if you have to get into a secret hiding space anywhere not in school or anywhere if you should hear about a lockdown you just go and find a place to hide that's what a secret hiding place is but always be thinking hmm how can i be safe all right and now it's time for our money time on the day we got our drum roll dun, dun, dun. okay so our mighty time on the day goes out to the entire class of room 203, Ms. Chekhov's class. You will not believe what they did. So on Friday, when we had school by bingo, they invited an entire kindergarten class and helped them with bingo. And then, get this, if they won bingo, they gave their prize to the kindergarten child. Look at that. You know, we think about the prizes as being what makes us a winner. Oh, I won because I got a prize. No. Prizes are fun, no question. I would love to win a prize myself. But winning is not the prize. It's not that thing that you get that you could lose, that might get broken, right? Winning is a feeling you get because you've done something great. And I know that every one of those students and room 203 went home feeling like winners, even if they didn't have a prize. Now we had prizes for everybody, so I'm sure they took one, but when they got bingo themselves, when they gave their prize to somebody else, they felt like winners. And I heard lots of people doing that, many that didn't get mentioned. Um, Ayub, Thomas, Gabby, so, I want to say to all of you who did that, super duper mighty kind. I'm so proud of you. And we can all learn from that. Why? Because we're mighty minds, not only that mighty kind, mighty minds, and everyday boys and girls, it's a great day to get smart and be kind to both each other and the earth. Let's have a wonderful day.